I think men cheat because, uh, because I can. Why do men cheat? Because they're probably not happy with the relationship they're in. I think it's in men's DNA to have more sexual activity. They're lonely, they're, they're pigs, you know, from scratch. <laughs> I think if women cheat, they're a cougar or they're loose. And if a man cheats, it's like, go get him, guy. Guys let's cheat, it's just for sex. It's not a, it may not be an emotional attachment, uh, but with women, there's definitely an emotional element to that. I think that's just an excuse for, you know, to say that, oh, all men cheat, but they don't. That's just giving someone an excuse. I think it's expected, not expected, but uh, allowed. If, really? if men cheat, well, it's not allowed. by me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now, your host, the voice of We Provoke Force. And for that, we do not apologize. Good day. I am the voice of We Provoke Thought. We Provoke Thought is an organization and show that is the platform for those who have an opinion, idea, or educated information to share to the world. An outlet to voice your feelings and facts. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, I got a great show going on. Today's topic is Why Do Men Cheat? You heard it right. Why do men cheat? And I could get a lot of flack for this being a man and all, probably going up against some man laws and man codes, but we're going to dig in. I have a guest on the line who wishes to discuss why do men cheat. And as always, we're going to continue with this call being recorded. You have full knowledge and then you agree for We Provoke Thought to publish this call on our YouTube channels, Facebook fan page, and all other sites abroad. Now, We Provoke Thought is uncensored, strictly anonymous, but we like to give the audience an idea of the demographics in which we're reaching. That's why I pose this question to you. What city and state are you in? Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee, Florida. All right, so we're in Florida there. Now, what's the weather like there? Is it hot? Uh, not today. Not today. Not today. It's <laughs> real rainy. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Now, today's topic is why do men cheat? And I'm quite sure that you have a lot of views and thoughts on that. Am I, am I correct in believing that? Right. All right. But again, I did some research on this before just tackling this. I mean, granted, I am a man, so I, I got I have some insight on it. But uh, you know, at the same time, I have to be fair to the men as well as women out there, and providing a little bit more than just my feelings and opinions. So I came up with a couple of uh, survey questions and answers as well. But again, it's about not only what I think and feel, but what you may believe as well. So now I did do some research, and it was with a marriage counselor by the name of M. Gary Newman. And he did a survey of about 200 men, cheating men and non-cheating men, and he came up with some astounding findings there. Number one reason, according to a book, why men cheat is Was because... Was emotional disconnect at home? And again, and just like Matt is saying, it's not blaming the wife at all. It's just saying that they find in the mistress things, unfortunately, that they do not find at home. And they are not emotionally articulate and verbal the way we right. hope they would be. So they will not tell you that they need the appreciation, they need the admiration, that they're really far more insecure than they'd like for you to know. The number one reason was not about sex, which was amazing. 88% of the men in my study said that the mistress was not better looking or in better shape than their wife. So it was not about the sex, sex, sex that people think. It was more about that emotional disconnected home that was served up by the mistress, unfortunately. But before we begin with my statistics and all of that, you tell me, why do you believe men cheat? I feel like men get bored. And if you don't keep them interested, that's it. They, they're they going to find it somewhere else. There could be a host of different reasons why yeah. guys do But it. if that woman is doing everything that she possibly can for that man in, in the bedroom, outside the bedroom, in the kitchen, I mean, if she's doing her part and he's not, you know, that tells me yeah. you made a horrible decision. Yeah. In dating that guy. Yeah. He was a bad pick. Yeah. Bad seed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, there's other reasons, you know, the, the guys see a hot chick, yeah, and like, man, she's hot. Yeah. And he's looking for something in that girl that he's not getting at home. 
All right. I bought them. But I, and, 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 you know, it's funny that you should say that because most women, as well as some men, believe that or believed that uh, the majority of men, and then uh, we can also put women in this category, shit because uh -huh. of the sexual satisfaction. But you said boredom was the first thing. Bored, yeah, they get bored. Like if you, it's it's with sex. Like if if you're not spicing it up every now and then, they can get tired of the same routine over and over again, and they're gonna try to find something different somewhere else. All right, all right. Now, 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 according to this survey, as well as some other research that I've done, it's roughly about 48% of the men rated emotional dissatisfaction as their primary reason. So I guess you could, you could, you could tie boredom into that, but 48% of the men rated emotional dissatisfaction as their primary uh, reason, which basically dispels that myth that most men cheated based upon sex. Now, only 8% of the men surveyed agreed to a uh, sexual dissatisfaction, though, uh, you know, men are least likely to express their emotional sensitivity. You know, they, 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 they do deep and desire hugs as well. But, you know, only 8% really admitted, we'll say admitted, to, uh, you know, sexual dissatisfaction being the main reason there. What are some of the other reasons why you may believe men cheat? Um, I feel like they may cheat. If I mean, I, I, I feel like it's mostly because they're bored, but I just, I feel like women may not bring um, as much to the table as may, they may have thought in the beginning. Right. Um, a lot of times they may not want to hurt that person's feelings and just want to do stuff elsewhere. For men like me, so we handle our business. I mean, we meant to have fun. You know, we, we meant to just be who we are. And just and just do what we need to do instead of being locked up in some relationship for a long time. Uh, just without her knowing, because it's easier that way than to just hurt her feelings and leave. Got you, got you. But I mean, I feel like with with me, I feel like if you're gonna cheat, let me know. Tell me, just get rid of me first before <laughs> let, you do let it. Let go, right? <laughs> uh, let me go. <laughs> now, now, now. Here's here's a personal question. Now, uh, have you been cheated on? Yes. Women allow men to cheat. Ain't that your man over there? Damn, that is Chuck. I thought he was dead or something. When was the last time you heard from him? Three months. Damn! Three months? You have. And, and you know, again, this is strictly anonymous now, but, uh, you know, and, and uncensored as well. If you, uh -huh. don't, if you don't want to share, that's fine, but... Can you tell us why you believe you were cheated on or why you know you were cheated on? Um, I well honestly that person was just like just a dog and, and it wasn't no get around it. It really wasn't and you think you could change somebody, but mm -hmm. you can't. And right. and it, it don't work like that. So I don't I don't believe I did anything wrong cuz I believe I believe I'm very good at what I do. I'm just okay. say that. Just say okay. on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm, about. I'm very good at what I do. You know, I'm very confident. You feel me? So, I know it wasn't boredom. I know that because I <laughs> I, I I run with the best of them. So, there you go. I just you stop with the big you know, dog. You feel me? So <laughs> I just know that I know I do my thing. I said that person was just a dog. So I was just like, yeah, I know it wasn't me. All right, all right. We're not even, we're not even going to challenge that. Now, and again, according to the information that we that we had there, sixty six percent of the uh, cheating men admitted feeling guilty during uh, uh, their affair. Um, it, it, or none does it give it the green light for the acts, but it does support the whole previous statement about men being emotionally driven. Uh, you know, uh, uh, of that 66% of those men, never did they think that they were uh, going to be unfaithful. Now, some may not believe that, you know, uh, you know, how do you how do you not? You know, how do you how do you just go into this whole uh, relationship and and somewhat find yourself in another relationship emotionally attached or just physically attached to someone else so you know again this is only this is only based on a survey of 200 men this is this is not a a blueprint or a snapshot of of all mankind or what have you but it does give some it give does give some uh some insight on why it is that uh, men do cheat 
So, and then, and, you know, and get, just based on your experiences, would you agree with that? Did, did, uh, did, 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 basically, did the man, did the gentleman that, that cheated on you, did, did, did he seem to show any remorse after he was caught, or did, did you catch him? Did he come to you and let you know what was going on? How did that did that play out? No, it was more so he just got caught, and it's like, dude, if you're going to do it, at least delete the evidence. Like, no, <laughs> no, come on now. So, I mean, it was just more so he got caught, and, and that was just the end of it. It was no discussion. So, And it was like he just he knew he was wrong, so that was the end of it. And you, you, now, you I still talk that. to him to this. Yeah, I still talk to him this day. I'm actually friends with all my exes. So right. I don't. Right. I'm not. I'm not the one to have animosity and want to kill you. I may want to. I may feel like I want to kill you at that moment, but I'm not going right, to do right. it. You know. Right. But you just you piss me off at that moment. Give me some time to myself, and it will come back, and we can be friends later. I'm I'm friends with all my exes. All of them can call me right now and ask me on what type of. Um, Friend, like friendship type of advice right. for for their next relationship or the relationship that they're in, and I'm, I have no problem giving it to them. So right. I'm not I'm not that type of bitter person. Well, maybe we should call them as well and ask them, ask these same questions to them. <laughs> really, <laughs> right? Pose these questions to them as well. Now that just brings me right back to the to the original question of why do men cheat? Now, according to uh, the marriage counselor, uh, Mr. Newman. Uh, he points out clearly that the guilt is not enough to stop them, though, from their acts of cheating. Uh, matter of fact, no. found that yeah, it doesn't, right? You know, because uh, yeah, no, that, yeah, because as a man, like as a, as a man, when you when you in that situation, I feel like they just put when you put in that predicament, your brain no longer works. <laughs> like <laughs> it, it don't work. And is as it? a woman, I know that. Like I can just see it. Like it, it don't work no more. And it's like you know what, just. Stay out of that predicament. Don't put yourself in that predicament where you're forced to make that decision because you're not going to make the right one. All right, all right, and I, I agree with you. Now, now here, here, here's a here's a hot this is a hot seat question right here. Now, have you done any cheating? No, and the, and okay. the only reason why I haven't is because I know what it feels like. I rather I rather leave you. Say that one time. Say that one time. Uh, I don't know because I know what it feels like. And oh I ra- I rather I rather leave you than to, than to do that because I feel like karma is a karma you know yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, it's uncensored. So if you if you if you you slip or you feel like oh. you're letting it loose, you can yeah. Oh but yeah, karma karma is a bitch. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. It is. Indeed. And when she comes back, she come back ten times harder. Yeah, and and you know with Newman, what he found that men are good at compartmentalizing their feelings, basically shelving those feelings and addressing them later. Just like you said, you mm-hmm. know, it's not that that guilt is not going to stop them. Once they're in that act, they're in there. And, you know, that's a scary finding. Uh, or shall I say the scary finding is 72% of the cheating men had a, uh, what, what can I say, had, a, has a, had or have a good friend that was or is a cheater as well. Do you know any of uh, your ex, the, 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 the gentleman that cheated on you, do you know of any of his friends that were cheaters or have cheated as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. But see, I'm the type of person, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going right. to hope that you wouldn't go through that. But if you do, just let me know. <laughs> All right, right. Got you. Got you. Now I'm going to throw some that's my only. There. That's my only thing. Good, yeah, and, and 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 we definitely feel you on that one. Now I'm gonna throw some words out there, and, and, and this is based on, you know, I'm speaking as a man, so I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let loose some words out there just for you as well as the audience to think about when it comes to cheating. You know, for a man, you know, think words such as opportunity come to the surface, uh-huh. uh, excuses, you know, uh, emotional or physical dissatisfaction. Pressure. I mean, pressure can come in many different forms. Pressure can come from his friends. You know, oh, come on, man. You know that girl, man. Your girl ain't gonna find out about it. She has right here, you know. And opportunity plays that. Uh, and you now, of course, many would disagree with that. That should not be a factor, but it is. And we're we're not talking about what it should or shouldn't. We're talking about why it is. 
Uh, redemption can also be a, a factor in why men cheat as well. And when I say redemption, it could be that, uh, you know, that, that, that guy that wants to see if he still has it. You know, some men, and I can tell this, I can tell this from some of my friends, you know, some men feel as though, you know, I'm not pleasing my woman enough. Let me see if I could, you know, if I still got it. Maybe I'm losing something here. It could be her or it could be him or it could be a combination of things from stress from work and things of that nature. And lastly, what, uh, and this gets a little deeper, faithless, faithless. Some men are just faithless. Some men do not fear or respect, especially I mean, when, we, when I talk about faithless, I'm not talking about just single people or, or just boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm talking about those adulterers as well, those, those men and women that are married, uh, not fearing that, that, whole, uh, that whole sanctity of the, um, uh, the marriage. Of being stuff. with somebody else, yeah. Right, right. Mental and, and mentally and physically being weak. So those are just words out there that I want to put out there that just from my my feelings as a man and why I believe men do cheat. And again, you know, opportunity, excuses, uh, emotional, physical dissatisfaction, pressure, redemption. Do you agree with any of that? Um, I definitely agree with the opportunity because, like I said before, if the opportunity presents itself, a man is going to take it. And I told you, once you get in, when it's you get into that situation, ain't nothing, ain't nothing that can be done unless, <laughs> unless your woman is actually standing right next to you. Right, right. It's you gonna happen. About the bushes. <laughs> yeah, you gonna have to. That's the only way it's gonna stop it. If not, it's gonna happen. All right. All right. Well, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate you allowing us the opportunity uh, to uh, allow, or shall I say, allow you the opportunity to express yourself and express your views on why do men cheat and why you believe men cheat. And as always, what we do here on We Provoke Thought, we always like to give the uh, the caller or the guest the last word for him. My last question to you, if you had the power, what would you do with it? Um, depends on depends on what the power what the power is. What is it? Could what be is it? You could shoot laser beams out your eyes. You could fly teleportation. You know, <laughs> pop up at any at any point when it, when when him you think the man is cheating. Uh, read his texts without uh, <laughs> having his phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, now nah, that's what I won't be. do because I feel like if you go fishing for something, you're gonna find it. You won't find it. So I, I, I don't, don't tell me out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Done deal, done deal. Well, I thank you. Again, you on We Provoke Thought, and for that, we do not apologize. And I'll say goodbye to you on the other end. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. This call has been recorded.